Hi guys, this is Sketchy Wolf, and this is a short review of the Coolmaster CM Storm Red switches. Uh, this is my latest keyboard, which is a 10 keyless keyboard with mechanical red switches. And this is from CM Storm, as you see here. Uh, it's no backlighting, it's very easy. The only thing that you get is a few extra butt keys here with. Uh, sort of directional arrows instead and uh, you have let's see if we can get a view on this you have the uh, some quick buttons that you can get via pressing the special CM Storm logo buttons here which is more or less like oh sorry I mean you press the function button the CM Storm button is on the left and right and it's instead of the Windows key, sorry. Yeah, this keyboard is very simple, very easy. You mean I, you got uh, a USB cable that you plug in which is detachable in both ends and it's plug and play and it's uh, six keys uh, NKRO and you also have the uh, PS2 converter to get the full NKRO keyboard. I uh, can't say that I have much need of it. If I zoom out you will see it compared in size to the Q-pad uh, MK80 that I have. And also these keyboards are uh, both have been uh, now uh, silent or uh, noise reduced via the uh, soft landing pads. So the blue is like something like this, and without yeah, this, uh, it's a little bit more clicky, and also the strike through to the bottom of the plate will here. On the Coolmaster one, yeah, this very nice sound. I really like the effect that the uh, soft landing pads had on this one. These are not. Dampen so you can hear uh, I can strike through to the plate and not here. Uh, overall, I'm really really satisfied with this keyboard. I really like it. Uh, mostly because of the closeness that you get and the space that you get with the uh, mice. And uh, also the functionality. It feels really robust. It feels very... Great, simply. It uh, has a lot of quality to it. It could be a bit expensive if you think about it because I mean it's roughly, I uh, guess, around almost $900 equivalent to 900 Swedish kronas. And of course, you can get a lot of bling for that without the keys, keyboards, but I think this one is definitely worth it due to the quality and also for the uh, red switches. It's by far more better than the Corsair uh, keyboard that I've tested earlier. So I hope you like this very short review of it and uh, stay in touch. Bye.